In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Yoast SEO in conjunction with Elementor. It's kind of painful. There's a lot of back and forth, but this is the way it has to be done right now. I'm going to show you how to do it in this video, and we're getting started right now. So to do this, I have the free version of Elementor installed. I have Pro on the site, but it's deactivated, so Pro features aren't running. And I have the free version of SEO Yoast installed. So everything I'm doing here is with the free stuff. So if you are concerned about that, just know it's all free. I'm going to make a new page, I'm going to go to Pages and then Add New. The first thing you'll notice is that this is a classic editor, even though WordPress 5 Plus is installed. And I have the Gutenberg Disabling plugin installed on this site. If I scroll down, we see the Yoast meta box down below. If you have Gutenberg running, you'll find the Yoast box in the same place. Just scroll down, you'll find it below the Gutenberg editor. And the first thing I want to do is enter a key phrase, which is basically the keywords that we're trying to focus this post on, we're trying to rank for. So I'm gonna just call this donkey walking. Because you have to walk your donkey, otherwise it's just bad. You gotta walk your donkeys. So this is all about how to, do how to walk your donkey. So uh, let's call this the, the title, the ins and outs of donkey walking. If you can, you try to have this keyword phrase as close to the, to the beginning as possible of the title. But if you can't do that, don't worry about it. Just make sure it is in the title somewhere. Now, if I click on Save Draft, we're going to have our slug generated. I'm going to edit this and have just our key phrase in the slug. Delete all the rest. And now scroll down. We've almost done everything we can inside of the main editor outside of Elementor for SEO Yoast. The last thing we want to do is add a meta description. So if we click on right here, just going to add a meta description in here. All right, so I have the description written. I have the keyword at the very beginning. And you want to have the keyword somewhere in there. The closer to the beginning, the better, but it doesn't have to be in the beginning. Just make sure it's in there somewhere. So now if we click on Focus Keyword, we see our checklist populate for our keyword and how it's placed on the page. We see it's a good length. It's in the meta description. The description length is good. It is in the slug and it doesn't show up in the title, it does. It's in the title just saying it should be at the beginning of the title. And again, do that if you can. If you can't, don't worry too much about it. Now we've done everything we can outside of Elementor. So I'm gonna go up and save this draft or save this as a draft. Then I'm gonna right click on Edit with Elementor so I can keep this page open where I'm currently editing and that didn't work. So I'm gonna open Elementor on this page. I'll, I'll make a different tab for it later. Uh, but this is where it becomes painful. This is where we have to go back and forth between our Elementor content and our Yoast plugin to try to optimize it. And like I said, it's painful. So I'm just going to choose a template. Any old template will do. Let's, uh, let's do this one. Insert. There's our template. I'm just going to make this Elementor canvas so the template is full width so we can see it in all its glory. There it is. It's a beaut. And now this is where we start editing our content and adding our keywords. So I'm going to put it right in the title. I'm going to call this donkey walking because this background video just screams walking the donkey. And this is a title widget. The next one we're going to work in is uh, the text editor. So find out why it's called the donkey walking capital of the world and enjoy the most beautiful beaches of the Mediterranean coast. Excellent. So now we have donkey walking inside of the text editor and there's a button here. So let's just change this button to donkey walking. I'm just trying to illustrate to you all the different widgets where we can add there are keyword phrases in and that we picked up by Yoast SEO when we actually go back and check Yoast SEO. So we have it in a title widget, a text widget, a button. I'm going to click on publish. You can also save draft. I'm just going to click on publish. Then I'm going to get out of here, go back to our WordPress dashboard. And like I said, this is where it becomes painful. A lot of back and forth. I'm going to open Elementor in a new tab in just a second. So I don't have to go back and forth as much. I can just come back here and refresh, which is a lot easier. But if we scroll down, we have our Yoast stuff refreshing. We open this 
and we see we have new information now. We have no outbound links, uh, still doesn't like our keyword in the title, that's fine. Our key phrase density is 1.6%, so it's picking up the keywords in the Elementor content. Let's see, key phrase in the introduction, which is picking up from the content. Uh, in the subheading, it's in the content. Image attributes, some images on this page contain all the attributes with the keywords from your key phrase. That's interesting. I didn't add any. I'll show you how to do that in a minute, but I didn't add one just now. Anyway, that is something we will do. And I'm going to just make sure that all of our instances are being picked up by this, because we have three instances. If that's 1.6%, I currently don't know. So I'm gonna take one out and see if this changes and see what happens. So let's go right here, click on edit with Elementor. I command or control click on it to open a new tab. So let's remove it from this uh, text editor widget right here. So let's call this uh, the beach capital of the world. And then click on update. Once it's updated, come back out here, refresh this page. Now if we scroll down, our Yoast SEO information is updating again. Click on focus key phrase. And now it dropped down to 1.1%. This is great. It's not telling us how many instances there are of it. Usually it does say how many instances there are, uh, especially if it has a problem or, or needs improvement. So it's 1.1 just to make sure it's picking them all up. Let's call this, let's put the title back to Tel Aviv for lack of something else. Tel Aviv, update, come back out here, refresh. And this is how you're gonna have to do it too. You have to come back and forth. If this was a better integration, I think there would be a widget right here in the Elementor editor that has the Yoast information. That would be pretty sweet. Maybe it's coming in the future, I don't know. But that would be a great place to have that integration instead of like this where you go back and forth all the time. And considering Yoast SEO is pretty popular, that might be a good integration to create. Click on our focus keyword again to see our checklist. And now our key phrase is, keyword density is right here, 0.5. It's too low. Key phrase was found one time. And it's actually only there one more time, which is in this button. So it is able to pick up key phrases in the title, in the text editor, in the button, and everywhere else as far as I know. So now we have our ability to edit our key phrases. And we can go through this checklist and do all these things that is asked for, add outbound links, uh, change the subheadings, or put the keyword in the, in the subheadings, key phrase in the title, move it to the front, make the title longer. Uh, for the alt tree, which I didn't do yet, but for some reason it's green, to add a keyword to an alt attribute, just click on any image, not, not a background image, although that should work, it's just be harder to edit the background image. So let's just click on this one and it opens up this gallery. We can add alt text right over here. Let's call this uh, donkey walking. Click on insert gallery, click on update. And now that image will have the alt tag of donkey walking. Clearly this image is not about donkey walking. So what I'm doing here is giving you an example of how to do this. You wanna make sure that the image is actually relevant to the post, if you have donkey walking in the image, you want it to be an image of walking a donkey. But that is how we would add image alt attributes. And I've got other tutorials that go through this entire checklist on SEO Yoast, which I'm not gonna go through here, but this is how we do it with Elementor. A little painful, like I said, but that is how it works. If you know of a better way, let me know in the comments down below because we'd all love to know what that way is. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you click subscribe and then ring the bell so you don't miss anything. And then check out this other Elementor video over here that's gonna help you get better at it. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.